Betty Motei Kyolo was born on March 15, 1989 in Ongata Ronga Estate in Kajiado County. She is the second born in a family of four siblings. Her father is known as Wilfred Kyolo and he comes from Kajiado and he is a Kamba by tribe. Her mother is known as Julia Ngi and she comes from Western Kenya and she is a Luya by tribe. Betty Kyolo is therefore a half Kamba and a half Luya, her father divorced with her mother when she was still a young girl. She therefore lived with her mother and her siblings in Nairobi where their father would occasionally visit them. Betty Kyolo's siblings are known as Brian Kyolo, Marcy Kyolo, and Gloria Kyolo. Betty started her education at Olire Primary School. She then transferred to Uhuru Gardens Primary School. After completing her Kenya Certificate of Primary Education KCP she joined Kangundo Girls High School. In August 2005 when Betty was still in Form 3, she collided with a double M bus while crossing the Gill House from railway station in Nairobi. She was going to meet one of her friends for lunch. She broke her collarbone, injured her face and ribs. She was hospitalized for two months and she fully recovered later on. Betty initially wanted to become a nun because seeing them looking so angelic and peaceful in a church was a great lure. As years rolled by she discovered a popular Kenyan TV news anchor by the name of Catherine Casavuli. Catherine made her to sit and rethink her plans of joining the nunnery. Betty idealized Catherine Casavuli so she started wishing she could one day present news like her. She later enrolled at Desta University where she pursued a degree in mass communication. Betty started her career at KTN TV working as an intern. She later got employed by KTN as a news anchor after she graduated from Desta University. The most challenging moment at work was when Betty interviewed the Kenyan rapper Prezo. Prezo tried to hug her and fondled her on live television. After working for KTN for some time as a host of the primetime news she left the TV station on July 2018 and joined K24 TV. She worked as a weekend news anchor at K24, she was also a host of Up Close with Betty Kyolo and Weekend with Betty Kyolo shows. On May 20, 2020 she quit working at K24 and she started her own YouTube channel known as Betty Kyolo where she documented her day-to-day -day life. She later returned to KTN to host a home show alongside Eric Omondi. Betty Kyolo and her lover Dennis Okari dated for six years before they decided to settle down. On October 2, 2015 Betty Kyolo tied a knot with the love of her life by the name of Dennis Okari at Marula Manor in Karen. The wedding was witnessed by close relatives and invites only. Dennis Okari worked as an investigative news reporter at NTV. The couples divorced each other six months after their wedding. She accused her husband of infidelity. They have a daughter together named Ivana Okari. It was alleged that Betty Kyolo got into another relationship with Ali Asan Joho who was the governor of Mombasa County. Kyolo's most recent public relationship was with lawyer Nick Ndeda. They parted ways in early 2022 just three months into the relationship, Betty Kyolo is a very wealthy woman. She owns a collection of very expensive petrol gasling vehicles. She has BMW 11 machine. She also have a Mercedes and a Renault Megane. She is also the founder and CEO of salon and spa business in Kilimani known as Flair by Betty which won her an award at the Pony Fashion Week Awards in 2018. In the middle of the year 2021 she started another business known as Aftershave by Flair Barbershop. She also owns a BK cloth line on June 17, 2022, Shomax introduced Kyolo Culture a new Kenyan reality series about Betty Kyolo and her sisters Mercy and Gloria. In 2017, 
Soma awarded Betty Kiolo as the media personality of Kenya. In 2018 she emerged as the winner of the Kenyans on Twitter K0T 2018 awards defeating opposition from KTN News reporter Timothy Otieno, the star digital editor Oliver Mathenge and Marvin Gokui. In 2020 she won the TV Online Influencer Award in the Africa Digital Influencer Awards Adia 20 event. In the same year, she was also named among the 100 most influential young Africans by Africa Youth Awards in collaboration with Avance Media.